What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking on Demon Fire Sage. This one's going to be a pretty quick video because uh, it's basically just a Silent Demon 2.0. Um, the nearest bonfire is right up there on that ledge right above my head. You can sort of see like a little rock or whatever. That's that's basically where it is. You can't warp to it though. The closest bonfire you can warp to is the Daughter of Chaos bonfire. And you want to make your way down to Demon Ruins. And if you don't know how to get down here, watch my uh, Ceaseless Discharge video. I'll show you how to do that. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So, like I said, this boss is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but there is kind of a cheese you can do, so I'll show you how to do that. It's got that, like, it's like an AoE that he can kind of launch, um, so be careful of that. But what you want to do for the cheese is get him into this corner right here. However you do that, um, doesn't really matter. I got me with that. Is he actually stuck right there? Hold on. No, he's good now. Okay. It's like, I didn't know he could get stuck right there. So you can get him back here by making him do a back step kind of similar to how he did Taurus Demon to make him jump off the ledge. Um, I feel like the easiest way though is just kind of bait him into this corner by attacking. There you go. And then you want to run straight this way. Now, if you keep him, like, as long as you don't go over there, he won't want to go over there. He just wants to kill you. So he'll only run straight at you. And if you put him on the other side of, uh, of that tree right there, these roots, he really can't go anywhere. So, you got a bow at this point. You can just shoot him, kill him with arrows, and that's the boss fight. Done. Easy as that. Otherwise, pretty much fight him how you would Asylum Demon. He's got this AoE right here. There you go. And then the one where he kind of swings his, uh, his hammer or his, is that an axe? Whatever. His weapon, uh, he, like, swings it horizontally. And not along the ground. Like, he swings it up in the air. Oh! That's why you don't go over here. I didn't have a bow anyway, so it's no big deal. But that one is where he, like, launches the, uh, explosion towards you. So, the safest place to fight him is behind him. There you go, that's the one I'm talking about. You can roll through it if you time it right. Here's the big AoE. It doesn't have crazy range, but you do want to get away from it. But I mean, like, if you stay to the side behind him, there's not a whole lot he can do. There we go. Anytime he puts his, his weapon right into the ground like that, that's the AoE. Pretty easy to see coming. There you go, that's that's the ranged one again. So I've shown it off a couple of times, hopefully you get the idea. And it'll kind of go to wherever you are, it's not just like straight in front of him. So, you know, just keep kind of rolling, try to time it out. It's got like a second before, like after he swings and before it actually explodes. So you can kind of just memorize the timing a bit. Something I'm clearly not able to do. So I'm going to just do this the old-fashioned way, try to get behind him. He will backstep like that, which makes sense since he really can only hit you while you're in front of him. All he's got aside from the two AoE attacks though is just physical attacks with his weapon. And he's very large and not all that quick, so pretty easy to see coming. Easiest way to kill him by far, though, is just pin him in that corner back there. Stand roughly where we are right now and kill him with arrows. Oh, man, he's he's putting on the moves for me right now. All the back steps, the clean footwork. You gotta respect it, but it wasn't enough. Anyways, that's the boss. Oh. Did we... Does he always drop that? I don't remember. But, uh, if you get it, cool. If everyone gets it, cool. If you don't get it, sorry. Um, and then after that, you want to just head downstairs. And there's the next boss fight. So, not too much room between the two. Actually, you know what? Because that took like one minute. I'm, I'm just going to do this boss fight too. <laughs> um,. Yeah, I yeah, we'll just we'll just do it. I'm gonna level up real quick. Some more endurance. 
whatever. Ooh, ooh, actually, I remember now. If you remember back to my uh, gaping dragon video, I wanted to show you this dragon weapon, but I couldn't at the time because I didn't have the strength. But I've been grinding out those strength levels for you guys. So here we are, the big reveal of the Dragon King Great Axe special attack. Are you ready? Very cool. Anyways, um, if you've been waiting this entire time to see that since the Gaping Dragon video, I'm sorry. But uh, also, there you go. You're welcome. So, I'm gonna kindle this bonfire. This next boss is pretty whack, honestly. This whole area that we're about to experience is just not good, but... Hopefully it looks a little better in the remaster. I'm kind of excited to see it, to be honest. But, here we go. Who is this? Knight Solaire. Why not? I don't remember that either. And I, I just don't know this area very well, I guess. I know the bosses, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. These are all, like, my the bosses I have the worst time fighting. So, my next video after this will actually be um, how to do Solaris questline. Because after this boss... Actually, let me just say right now. As soon as you kill this boss, do not go on to the next area if you want to do Solaris questline. It's very, like, very, very specific and picky about what actions you take from this point forward. Um, there are, like, several different outcomes. And if you continue to the next area it locks you out of out of some of them so just teleport back to to somewhere else and i'll try to get that video up as soon as possible looks like they made the lava less bright which is good you're still hideous though I think he was just too gross to remaster. Okay, all you have to work with is this area right here. Um, there used to be a glitch. If you pulled him into that uh, corner right there, he would kind of jump out of the map. I don't know if that works in the remaster, and it's already kind of like difficult to do. So if you're interested in like an insta kill like that, you can go ahead and try that. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother, especially since I've got Slayer's help here. So. It's got this jumping spin attack, pretty annoying. What I like to do is go over here, though, so we have some more room to fight. This lava will absolutely ruin you, so don't try to cross it without full health. Tons of damage. It looks like Solaire's being eaten right now, but hopefully he'll make his way over here. Obviously, if you don't have a summon, he will just follow you over here, but like, look at all the room to fight, man. Slayer's just in the lava. What is he doing? You can also go to the middle island that Slayer's on right now. It's pretty much... Like, you can see the... <laughs> Why are you taking that route? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he got stuck! <laughs> Dude, what... What is this video? So that's what happened. If you if you bait him in that corner and let him grab you, he would get stuck in the ceiling. And sometimes he would just fall out of the arena, and sometimes he gets stuck up here and you can just kill him with a bow. So I don't I there's no way I have enough arrows to do this. Oh my god. Um Dude, what have you done? Why did you do this to me? trying to think of a, a solution here i can't just run in the in the lava like solaire can so that complicates us a little bit tell you what we're just gonna oh i don't think i can homeward bone with a summon nope we're gonna hit him with the separation crystal 
I'm sorry. Okay, okay. And then we're gonna do a little... Or we can just save and quit, actually. Let's try this again. Alright, we're gonna take Solaire again. And just I'm gonna run over, straight over to that other area. Just so, hopefully, what just happened doesn't happen again. And, um... If it does, then we'll just we'll forget about Solaire. All right, let's go, pal. So the boss is pretty much always going to spawn over there. Oh wow, I rolled through the lava. That was skillful. Hopefully, Solaire is following me right now. Yes. Why? I don't even know. I, I can't even fathom why he would choose to go that way. Just take your time, buddy. Not like I'm trying to make a video here. Alright, so at range, he's just gonna lunge at us with his arm. I'm sure he's probably gonna do it here. Dodge to the right, dodge to the left, whichever way you see fit. Just don't be indecisive, because that's how it's going to get you. And he also has his jump, where he just does like a 360 spin. And uh, that, the jump attack is like your best bet at fighting him. He is really hard to hit on this, um, on this arm lunge thing, because he retracts it so quickly. But if you are going to hit him, I would recommend, actually for this entire boss fight, I'd recommend anything with a vertical attack. A little overhead like the halberd, or um, any any great sword you might have that does the same. There you go. It's going to be stuck for a second after he does that. Got a little sweeping attack there. You can cut off his big, um, his big centipede arm right there that he kept lunging at us with. And that will actually, like, it'll separate into its own own being, which is just terrifying. All right, he's grabbing Slayer. This, uh, you can't get damage on him. Okay. We good now? Yeah. You can also cut off his tail tail, and, um, so either the arm, the big arm, or the tail, I'm pretty sure both of them will turn into their own creature. You kill that, and it will drop the orange shard ring. The orange shard ring allows you to do... Oh, there we go. Kill that disgusting creature. And there you go. I clicked through really fast for some reason. What it allows you to do is walk in lava with very, very minimal damage. Oh, I killed Solaire. That's depressing. And uh, that's going to be required for this next area, for sure. So, I'm sorry that that video was a complete mess. Hopefully, just just literally bringing him over this island makes all the difference, though. As you can see, if now if I walk in the lava, I still take damage, but it's very, very slow. It's similar to the rate that you take poison damage, toxic damage, something around there. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but you get the idea. Now, fighting him right here is just a nightmare. It's the, it's the worst part about this boss fight. If you can survive the trip either over to that middle island or my favorite, over by that back wall you're you're set like the boss has very few moves the hardest part is his camera angle because if you're he spawns out there right you're standing right here like look look how much room i had to move i go out here i'm either like in the boss's face like he's pushing me around or or like i, I just he's just all all the way in the way like he will literally come up and stand like right where i'm standing so you have no room to do anything like the camera will literally prevent you from from seeing anything it'll prevent you from seeing what the boss is doing you'll know when he jumps obviously but you probably won't have time to like look up and see where he's landing it's just a nightmare so go to one of those islands like i said i prefer that one over there just because i feel like you have more room and uh the boss will be more on top of you over there than he will on this middle island but you have more room to walk for yourself which i think is more important here now to progress all you gotta do is come over this way 
and uh, pretty much just follow the land here. Make sure you do put on that orange shard ring. Don't worry about not being able to uh, quick roll if, if you had to replace Havel's ring or anything like that because you you really are only going to use it to get through this area. You know, you're not going to be fighting really any enemies, I don't think. So here's Solaire again. I think that's all he has to say. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm gonna light this bonfire. Like I said, if you want to do Solaire's quest line, do not progress from this point. Literally, like, I'm pretty sure if you go around that corner right there, to where that, like, first route is, it's gonna... It's gonna trigger the next event happening, which is completely out of your control. So, my next video, I'll try to get that up later today, is uh, is going to be the, the, the complete Solaire quest line. Mostly complete. But um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Good luck with Fire Sage Demon, although you won't need it. Good luck with Centipede Demon, though. That fight's just awful. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck in the ceiling like mine did. And if he does, hopefully you have a good bow and you can just laugh at him and, and capitalize on that. That's I, I can't believe that that happened, but it did, so. Oh, man. I'm in disbelief. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.